Hi, I'm Gerald and today we're going to demonstrate how to set up Ubuntu Server. The tasks that we will be completing include installing and setting up Apache Web Server, creating two new user accounts, creating a shared folder, and adjusting user permissions for that shared folder. The first task is to install and set up the Apache Web Server. To install the packages, we simply need to type in the command sudo apt install apache2. And press enter. And this should install the Apache web server packages. And yes, we want to continue. Okay, in order to test the Apache web server, we can just type in the IP address for this server on a web browser. So we can switch to Ubuntu desktop and just type in 192.168.200.3 and we have our it works page. So this shows us that the Ubuntu Apache 2 web server is working on our server. Now we can switch back to our server and the next task is to create two new user accounts. I want to create two users named John Smith and John Doe and the command to create a new user is user add. So we'll just type in sudo user add. John Smith and his username is J Smith. And we can set his password with the passwd command. And this set his password and we can just repeat this for John Doe to create his user account Okay, in order to verify these accounts, we can just type in cat etc passwd. And that will show us all of the users. And we can see down here at the bottom, we have John Doe's user account information and John Smith's user account information. And everything looks good there. Next thing we can do is create a managers group so that we can manage some of the permissions later on. In order to do that, we use the group add command. So we just type in sudo group add managers. And this should create the managers group. And since John Smith is a manager, we can just add John Smith to that managers group and to do that we can use the user mod command so we type in sudo user mod and g flag and type in managers and j smith 
and in order to verify this we can just type in groups and J Smith and this should list all of the groups that John Smith is a part of and we can see that John Smith is a member of the John Smith group and he's also a member of the managers group next we need to create a new shared folder and I want to create this shared folder in the home directory so we can type in sudo make directory and we'll do home slash share and this will create a directory for our shared folders now we can create a project a folder and we can just type in sudo mkdr home shares project a and this should create the project a shared folders in the shares directory next we can modify permissions for this shared folder we can make the managers group the group owner of project a and that will give john smith read write access we can also give the others folks read only so this will give john do read only access since he is a member of the others category to do this we can use the chown command so we just type in sudo chown and do colon managers slash home slash shares slash project a and this basically changes the owners the group owner to the managers group for project a and in order to verify that everything got changed correctly we just type in the lsl command and slash home slash shares and we can see that root is the user owner managers is the group owner and we can see the permissions over to the left and the user owner has read write and execute permissions the group owner has read and execute and the others group has execute so we want to add the write permission to the managers group in order to do that we just type in sudo chmod g plus w and home slash shares slash project a and this should give the group owner right permissions and we can verify this with the lsl command So we can see the group owner now has read, write, and execute. So everything looks good here. So this completes the tasks of setting up the Apache web server, creating user accounts, and creating a shared folder with adjusted permissions on the Ubuntu server.